<laughs> mm. Sorry, no, I just like popped like 10 ad bill. But basically, I'm doing a challenge of Joe where we both have to draw an image and then make a game on what the other person drew. So while Joe drew something like this, yo, what? I drew this. Yeah, no, I sincerely apologize. I've made a continuous lapse in my judgment. Uh, good luck with that one. Also, we've only got the weekend to make these games, so let's get started right now. All right, so examining this image, uh, we've got what looks to be a shotgun pointed at a pelican. Now, I'm not PETA, but you know what? Screw it. The pelicans are just going to attack you in waves and you just have to fend them off. So there's four different pelican types that I came up with. Uh, we got the normal pelican, right? Uh, we got the king pelican, you know, a little bit of royalty splashed in there. Uh, we got the, uh, the bomber pelican. Okay, so I'm watching this back because I have to upload this tomorrow. I'm pretty sure that's just a cloud. And uh, Trent. Yeah, Trent is definitely my favorite. After drawing these guys up though, I thought it was time to make a gun, and after a couple modifications, I got it to rotate around the player. After that, we got to some bullets, as well as add a timer up top to let the player know whether they can shoot or not. I then got to work on the spawning system, which involves this. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what this does. But anyway, after modifying it a bit, I got it to spawn all four types of enemies that I drew up earlier, and I added a little wave counter at the top of the screen. Now, if you've been paying attention, you'll notice there's something I haven't talked about yet, which is uh, the player health. Music, sound effects, everything audio. I mean, we got the best musician in the world, the legend Kevin McLeod himself for the background track. Uh, and you know, we got some sound effects for like shooting, killing an enemy, taking damage, you know, all that basic stuff. Soon after though, I realized that the game was pretty boring as all you do is just kind of shoot Trent repeatedly so i added power-ups into the game basically after drawing some incredibly detailed sprites i added them into the spawning system and just made a random one spawn somewhere on the map every wave after this happened however it was finally time to send the game over to joe oh wait i forgot okay. i need to add player how why i need to fix the ui so let me just sit down and think about what i have to do okay so let's just move this around um i moved this timer and made it center to the bottom of the screen i mean this says reloading now instead of a super long number and then i got a dm from joe and i was like oh wait i'm not done yet so then i cooked an egg i'm i'm literally not kidding i have a full clip of me cooking an egg what's up guys today i'm gonna be showing you how to cook an egg i know this is crazy this is big news so basically what you want to do you wanna come over here? You're gonna wanna get your egg, right? So here's my egg, right? And we actually wanna turn on the stove. That's a big step. A lot of people don't know this. You're gonna wanna turn on the stove. Stove's turning on. I just forgot a knife. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is, uh, you're gonna want one of these bad boys. You wanna get some butter? You wanna put that butter on the pan. How do I get it off the knife with one hand? And now that's gonna melt. And it's gonna be really cool. We're gonna take this uh, purple thing. It has to be purple, by the way. If it's not purple, this isn't gonna work. Um, if you need to, like spray paint or something, head over to like, I don't know, Home Depot or something. They probably have some. Now we're gonna take our egg and we're gonna do something called the precision crack. So what you wanna do, you wanna line up the egg. If this is like a solid, like a zero, if say this is zero degrees, you're gonna wanna turn it maybe like 30. And basically what you wanna do is you wanna just hit it as hard as you can against this pan. Look at that. Beauty. Okay, so you didn't see it, but I just opened the egg and it looked really cool. Look at that. So that's our egg right now, right? Now here's a really cool step that you can do. Um, you can get some salt, right? Because I like a little bit of salt on mine. So we're going to take a little bit of salt. We're going to sprinkle that on there. Pop some thyme leaves on there. What a good like speedrunner step to do here is, is you're going to get a plate while it sizzles. That's a speedrunner strat. Um, it saves about five seconds. So if you're going for a PB, I would suggest that you do something like that. Now we're gonna go for the flip. Oh, 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 that was big. Okay, I didn't get the end of it. As you can see, that was a little bit of a C tier flip because this end here, I did not get it to flip back over. Okay, I think it's stuck that way. Yeah, so it's a bit, a bit like a baby, like a baby's head. You push their head in too hard, it's gonna stay like that, right? So you wanna make sure you get it right the first time. I obviously knew how to do it. I just wanted to do it wrong so I could show you guys what happens um, if you don't get the flip perfect. Don't try this at home. You're just gonna pick up the pan. You're just gonna slide it off. You're just gonna slide it onto the plate. That's a high level strat, all right? So all of you noobs out there, I don't want you trying that. Um, I want you to do it the normal way first so you can kind of learn. But once you get up there, you can try that pro level move. I mean, on a good day, I could probably get like a, maybe a sub three on this. Like sub two, sub three. Sub two is definitely plausible. I feel like I could definitely break that. Anyways, after cooking the egg, I finally got around to adding player health and whipping up a quick title screen. And I mean, the game works, but like it's kind of held together with uh, a... Do you guys remember Sticky Tack from elementary school? Anyway, all that was left to do was play the games of Joe so here's how that went. This is probably a bit different than uh, what you was expecting. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> oh, we got the health. <laughs> oh, I lost immediately. Yeah. Uh, sometimes they just they just appear. You know, it, it's like it's like life. You know, you can never expect uh, what's coming next. That's my philosophy behind that one. You never know when to expect the the birds to. They, they could just come out of nowhere. You never know. This game is easy. Oh. They just, they just, they're there, you know, they, they just appear. Wave 7 is Armageddon. Yeah, yeah, no, Wave 7 can be quite the challenging uh, wave. This is a game that I've been playing during the class. Yeah, yeah, you know, like that's kind of like the, okay, okay. I will say that while like testing this, I, man, it was really hard. I didn't want to shoot the pelicans, but, but I had to, to see if it worked, you know, so. You have to betray your kind. Yeah, yeah, it was very, very sad time, really. End of the video, yeah! I'm pretty sure we recorded this, like, I don't even know, probably three months ago by now. But we finally uploaded, so that's cool. Oh man. Okay, hear me out. I feel like Tylenol is actually F tier, right? That's why I've been, I've been using the Advil. Tylenol, I mean, me personally, it like never works. I'm just gonna be honest. 